Hey, go to Cameras trained on one man. Four goals in three games. You can't argue with that. The action is live next. And welcome on a rainy night. The heavens opened earlier and it just hasn't relented. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. What a match this promises to be, Stuart. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the lineup for the home side. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Nutmegs will begin the game this way. Well, they play with a diamond in midfield, which makes the role of the holding midfield player so important. Is he there to dictate the play with his passing or be a defensive screen? I'd hope he could do both jobs. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. And a fine tackle. And over comes the corner. Just over the crossbar with that effort. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Space and time for the cross. The high press was very much on. And whipped into the box. That's all they can conjure for now. Under real pressure here. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. 
Well, they get the ball once more. And the cross is very much on. Corner awarded. And now the delivery of an ordinary. And that's probably being charitable. Well, it is without question a very special day. This his debut match. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him? Well, he's a good player, no doubt about that. And he will certainly improve their midfield. I just hope he settles in quickly and shows us what an effect he can have on this team. And clears the danger. Could be a chance to break here. They need to get bodies back. Ian Henderson. This looks promising. Opportunity missed. Par. Barnett. Might jump in front. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. And a poor ball. Now a decent position. And delivered into the box. Saved, but still a chance. And a significant block following, missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Turner. It looks promising. Can they forge ahead? And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. One nil then. Now the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Barrow. They're the first on the score sheet here with 27 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. And crossed in there. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, it fizzled out. Ian Henderson. Will it happen for them? Just cutting off the supply. Well, the visitors, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. Oh, yep. wait, Stuart, they might score! Superb stop! Just the clearance that was called for. Oh. All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Well, a goal update for us to know about. Let's hear more from Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Mansfield Town. They've scored the opener with 37 minutes played. 
Can't quite take advantage in the end. Shabalala. Phillips has it. And that's an important intervention. Has a go. Terrific block. Must be missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Giving the ball away. Hunter. Lund. Delightful pass. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And now Turner. It looks promising. And the whistle is sounded for half time. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. And plenty of room in the wide area. Now he must favour the cross. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Well, a goal to update you on. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Barrow. They're ahead by two now with 47 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Ian Henderson. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. This looks promising. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. And now Turner. And in with a real chance. Fuck And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Making progress. Lovely work to get past his man. Can they square the game? In it goes at the second time of asking, but the goalkeeper won't be proud of that moment. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Hunter. And there's been a change to the scoreline in one of the other games. Alex has details. It's a goal for Colchester United. It's now level at 1-0 with 60 minutes on the clock. This is what we love to see. Back to you, Derek. Cheers, Alex. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And he's fired over the corner, but into the keeper's gloves.
He's going forward well here. The cross is on. Takes the shot. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. So on with the game. Will there be a quick reply from Nutmegs? There needs to be. Well, attacking possibilities for Nutmegs. And possibilities here. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Kiki. Well, let's look at this again. And what a one to it is to unlock the defence. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? Robertson. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Foul there, free kick awarded. Now a decent position. Could be. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Well, they haven't had too much to cheer about for a while now, but the goal would be a huge bonus here. 15 minutes remaining. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Whoa, whoa. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And a goal has gone in in one of the other matches. Alex Scott will tell us more. It's a goal for Stevenage. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 79 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Only 10 minutes remaining here. He's in with a chance. And looking very comfortable here. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. Not a scoreline we see all often. 5-3. Oh, that's 